Hey there guys, it's Hobo525 here, back with another video. And yes, it is that time again. Today, I will be showing an update for my Marvel Legends collection. So, yeah, there's a lot to show today. So, because it's like drastically changed since like last time I showed it um, off like around Christmas. So, yeah, um, let's start the video. Let me take you on a little trip, my supersonic ship. At your disposal if you feel so inclined. Okay, so my first shelf that I wanted to show was my Avengers shelf. And yeah, I think this is a pretty decent shelf. Um, I do have kind of the main ensemble of like the retro Avengers from like the 60s and stuff like that. Like these guys are all longtime Avengers, so why not put them like kind of like in the front of the shelf? So yeah, we do have Sun Mariner, who was like, you know, the first Marvel superhero, um, technically speaking. So, you know, why not put him in the front? Hercules... Uh, Iron Man and Captain America, who, you know, it just makes sense that they're kind of the centerpiece of the shelf. And then we do have Spidey back there. Um, Black Knight, who is also a pretty early Avenger, but I know he was like a villain at first, so. Yeah, then we have Miss Marvel, Daredevil in his yellow suit that he had, you know, like, early in his career. Machine Man, Captain Britain, and Songbird. And then over here is, like, my little West Coast Avengers. Mini, mini display with Hawkeye right there, Wonder Man, Mockingbird, Moon Knight, and I do want to get a few more of the members like War Machine, but they like barely have any War Machine comic figures, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So if we move on to my next shelf, which is probably one of my favorites, is my MCU shelf. God, I love this shelf so much. And like it's mainly because of the figures, obviously, but... Yeah, I just like how to display it. Um, as you can see, I almost have like the full cast of characters in the MCU. Like at least like the main heroes. All I need left is like Vision, um, Hawkeye, and Black Widow. So yeah, if we start off over here, we do have Nick Fury, Sif, Goose is on the floor over there, Spider-Man, Astro, Doctor Strange, and you know, it's kind of supposed to look like he's being projected out of his physical form. But yeah, then we do have Scarlet Witch. Black Panther, who kind of fell over. Giant Man, Ant Man, uh, War Machine, Wasp, Captain Marvel, Falcon, Nakia, Okoye, Groot, Nebula, Gamora, Drax, Yondu, Rocket, Groot, and Star Lord. And then, you know, kind of like the centerpiece is like the four main Avengers. Um, I consider them that at least. Uh, we do a Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, and a Hulk. So, yeah, um,. I mean, the main centerpieces of this show are probably Iron Man and Captain America, since they're, like, the two big heroes of the MCU right now. Well, I mean, not right now, because, you know, he's dead, and he's old. Um, yeah, sorry if I spoiled that for you, by the way, but the movie's been out for a month, so... Yeah, just expect spoilers now without any warning on my channel. Um, yeah, I also put Star Lord kind of, like, in the center of the show, because... I don't know, I kind of consider him, like, the Iron Man of, like, the cosmic universe, you know... I don't know, but yeah, pretty cool, so yeah, and then I did like try to replicate the Avengers headquarters right here, I kind of made like, you know, a little window or whatever, and then there's a logo right there for the Avengers, so yeah, pretty cool, and then if we go down here, oh, this is like another favorite shelf, my, M no, not my MCU, my Marvel Cos Cosmic shelf, so yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Um, I do have like a little space background right there, which is not the best, but I don't know. I think it looks okay. So yeah, basically this is full of cosmic characters. You know, we have Fantastro, Gladiator, uh, Captain Universe, Spider-Man, Darkhawk, Mr. Fantastic, um, The Thing, and Human Torch. And I still need to get the Walgreens ex exclusive Invisible Woman. I really want her for this show because, you know, the Fantastic Four, you know, pretty much cosmic are, like, part of the cosmic lot. So, yeah, I say, like, face Galactus and stuff. And we do have Space Armor Iron Man, Kid Nova being held by Titus, which, yeah, he actually fits pretty well on Titus's grip. Um, you, you do have to be careful, though. You, you know, he might, like, fall sometimes, but, yeah. Then we do have Malakuf right there, Adam Warlock, Angela, Goldar, Silver Surfer, Nova, Black Bolt, and yeah, and the top it all off is the center of the set, uh, more of the show, Thanos. So yeah, they're all basically battling Thanos, you know, 
kind of a cool thing, but yeah. And then down here is my little Fantastic Four house shelf. Um, I did put the Fantastic Four logo right there. So yeah, these are like my Toy Biz Fantastic Four figures, you know, it's like the thing. Mr. Fantastic, uh, Sue Storm, uh, Johnny Storm, a little Franklin Richards. And then we do have Herbie right there, and you know, they have a little Fantastic Four table. And yeah, they're just kind of like at home chilling out like a family because they're like Marvel's first family, you know. But yeah. And then, and then down here is probably my like three level hero shelf. Um yeah, so I do have the Punisher, kind of like the centerpiece, Ghost Rider, Cloak, Dagger, Nighthawk, Citizen V, Daredevil in his black suit. Um, Electra and Night Thrasher, so, yeah. And then there's, like, a little quick peek at my Pops, which I barely even collect. That's, like, all of them, all the ones I have, so, yeah. And then if you go over to this shelf, it's, like, also one of my favorites, which is my Sentinel shelf. So, yeah, up here we do have, um, Logan from X-Men Days of Future Past. And then we do have X-23 being held in. The uh, Sentinel's grip, which she actually does do pretty well. Um, even though she looks like she's about to fall all the time, she just like never does. So, yeah, she fits pretty well in here. So, I don't know. I suggest you do that. Um, if you want, and then we do have Cable right there and uh, Sasquatch. So, yeah, they're all fighting off the Sentinel. Pretty cool. And then down here, we have another favorite of mine my MCU villain shelf. I really do like this shelf a lot, but. Yeah, so over here we do have Crossbones, uh, Yellow Jacket, Iron Monger, Hella back there, Red Skull, and then we do have like the I do, I, I put like the three main Avengers villains like at the centerpiece of the shelf, you know, with Loki, uh, Ultron, and Thanos smack dab in the middle. So yeah, and then back here we do have Vulture, Ego, Ronin. And Killmonger, who's also, you know, one of my favorite MCU villains, so I put him in the front. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then down here is my most recent shelf that I made, my Avengers Endgame shelf. So, yeah, pretty excited to get the Wave 2 of these figures, you know, so I can get, like, Professor Hulk all up in here and stuff like that. And I do want to make this shelf bigger, so, yeah, we do have um, Advanced Suit Nebula, Advanced Suit Ant-Man, Iron Man, Ebony Maw. And then we do have Captain America holding Mjolnir, which is kind of a little custom. I did not get the Walmart exclusive yet. And, yeah, so he's he's, he, bah, he's just wearing his Civil War suit, um, which kind of looks like the one from Endgame, except without the scales. And he is holding Mjolnir, and I did use um, X-Men Days of Future Past, like the Logan figure. I used his hand, which fits pretty well, and Cap's arm. So, yeah, you know, it can hold Mjolnir pretty good, actually. And, yeah, so... Back here, we do have Black Widow in her advanced suit, Ronin slash Hawkeye, and then we do have War Machine right there, which is also, like, a little custom. Um, I got, like, an extra quantum suit lying around, so I just put War Machine's head on it, so, yeah. And then in the center, we do have Thanos, so, yeah. I really do like this arm armor Thanos figure, by the way. Pretty decent. And then down here is my Infinity War shelf, which I did move from last time. Well, I'm trying to put my hand in front of the camera. Sorry about that. But yeah, I did move this from last time. And, oh, sorry, rock shelf. Yeah, I did move this, you know, from last time, like I just said. But, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I do have a lot of the characters from the movie. Um, I, There's Black Panther back there. Bucky, Black Widow, Captain America, Thor, Proxima Midnight. Iron Man and his Mark 50 suit with some custom... Um. What are they? Oh yeah, nanotech weapons I made with his shield right there, as you can see, and his blaster. And then we do have uh, Corvus Glaive right there, Iron Spider with custom talons, my custom uh, Red Skull Stonekeeper figure, Star Lord Drax. Oh uh, yeah, Rocket Surge. I forgot to mention him. And to top it all off, the built a figure Thanos who yeah it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I do kind of I'm like I like I'm trying to keep these shelves close to each other because you know because they're like. Kind of like compatible movies, you know. Um, yeah, because Avengers Endgame is basically Infinity War Part 2. Even though they changed the title, it's basically what it is. And then down here, we do have my slowly growing Civil War shelf, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't have, like, a lot of the 
main cast in it. I'm only gonna like add duplicate characters in here. Like if I get another Scarlet Witch, I'm gonna put her over here because I want to keep the other one in my MCU display. So yeah, over here we do have Spider-Man, um, War Machine, Mark III, Black Panther, Battle Damage Iron Man, Captain America, and Ant-Man right there. So yeah, um, I am gonna I am trying to keep these three shelves together because they're based off my three favorite MCU movies, which is Captain America, Infinity War, Endgame, and yeah, pretty cool. So, and I do like consider these three films like the Russo trilogy. So, yeah, because, you know, they're, like, all big crossover films and all that stuff. I don't know. I just consider them that, so. Okay, so, if we move on to this shelf, it is my X-Men villain shelf, which I'm pretty proud of, even though there's, like, not a lot of X-Men villains here. But, yeah, over here we do have Sabretooth, Onslaught, Apocalypse, Magneto, and I'm not the biggest fan of that suit at all. I really want to get the newer one that was announced it was like a three pack of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, and it does have this, you know, like normal purple and red suit, but not a big fan of that black one at all. And then we do have Juggernaut and Archangel right there, who's also a pretty cool figure. And then down here, we do have my symbiote shelf. Um, yeah, so we have Lasher, Scream, Carnage, uh, Monster Venom, um, Red Goblin, Poison. And Pork Chop right here, who is basically like the symbiote version of Venom for Spider Ham. So, yeah. So, if we move on to my next shelf, it is the Marvel Villain shelf. And yeah, this is a pretty populated shelf. Um, originally, the X Men villains were in here, but they could not fit, so I moved them down. So, yeah. So, over here, we do have like the Black Ant Man right there, um, with the black suited one. Then we do have Scourge slash. Demolition Man, Paladin, Whirlwind, um, Taskmaster, and then we do have my little Serpent Society Ensemble with the King Cobra, um, Cottonmouth, and Eel, then we do have Nuke, Deathhead 2, uh, Typhoid Mary, Doctor Doom, who is a really, really annoying figure to stand up, but you know, if you're having trouble standing him up, I guess put him like this. Because he like always falls over. And yeah, and then we do uh, the Iron Red Skull, Abomination, Red Guardian, Living Laser, Ares, who's kind of a rare figure, so I'm glad I finally got him. Um, and then we do have the Hydra Agents from the two pack, which I do want to get duplicates of so I can like army build, but yeah. And then over here is my Spider-Man villain shelf, which is like also one of my favorites. I really love this shelf a lot, you know. But yeah, we do have um, Green Goblin, Speed Demon, Tombstone, um, Shocker, Jackal, Silverman in his little car, Sandman, Morbius, Jack-O-Lantern, Electro, Doc Ock, who's kind of like the centerpiece of this because he's at the leader of the Sinister Six, and as you can see right here, um, I do have the first, like, five founding members of the Sinister Six, Vulture, Mysterio, Doc Ock, Electro, Sandman, they're kind of like the centerpiece of the shelf. And all I need left is Craven to complete the bunch. So, yeah, hopefully I get that figure soon. Because I really do want them. So I can complete them. So, yeah. And over here we do have Girl Beetle. Um, and then there's me right there. So, yeah, which is a regular Beetle. And then over here we do have Kingpin, which is a pretty sick build a figure um, And then we do have Black Cat, Silvermane. Puma, and yeah, that about wraps it up for this villain shelf. Oh, and a quick little tip with Mysterio. Um, if you want to make him look cooler, in my opinion, I suggest you take off his helmet and, like, stuff a cotton ball up there because it looks a lot like it's, like, smoke. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a pretty cool idea. I didn't make it up, but I forgot who did. So, yeah, I can't exactly credit a source for this. But, yeah. And then over here is probably the shelf I put the most effort to out of all of these. And that is my X-Men shelf. Yay! So, yeah, here are, like, the first four founding members, which are Angel, um, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman, and I do not have a Beast figure yet, and I really do want to get that new one because I heard he's, like, really, really sick. So, yeah, I want to get him soon and put him right there so I can have the first five members. And then this is a center little centerpiece safe for Professor X. Once I get him sometime down the line, hopefully I'll get him soon, but... Yeah, so, 
over here are all like the mutants slash students and all that stuff. So, you know, over here is Colossus, um, Cable, Dazzler, Domino, Shatterstar, Multiple Man, X-23. Uh, then we do a Deadpool right there, kind of in a sexy pose, you know, in his little X-Men outfit. And then we do a uh, Psylocke right there, Tiger Shank Wolverine, Storm, uh, Kitty Pride, Havoc, Rogue, Sunfire, Polaris, Banshee, and Warlock back there. So yeah, this shelf was basically meant to replicate the X-Mansion, by the way. You know, there's like a little X-Men logo right there, a little... I, you, ah, sorry, I cannot speak, but yeah, even a little X-Men carpet, the stairs, and yeah, the windows, so... I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool, so, yeah. And if we move on to this shelf, it is my Spider-Verse shelf, man, so, yeah. Also, another one of my favorites, but, yeah, so over here we do have PlayStation 4 Spidey, the new symbiote Spider-Man, who's been, like, appearing in recent comics as, like, the symbiote suit, the homemade suit Spider-Man from Homecoming, Spider-Man House of M, Spider-Girl, Spider-Ham, Miles Morales, just, you know, your average Earth 616 Spider-Man, um, Spider-Man Noir, SBDR, Six-Arm Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, uh, Spider-Man UK, or Spider-UK, I think, Spider-Man 2099, um, and then we do have Spider-Man Noir, no, not Noir, uh, Scarlet Spider right there, and yeah. And as you can see of this shelf, um, I did put, like, the main cast of the Spider-Verse on this, you know, I have Spider-Ham, Spider-Man or Peter B. Parker. And then do a Miles, Spider-Man Noir, and SBDR. All I'm missing is Spider-Gwen, so hopefully I can get her soon so I, can, so I can, like, complete the cast. But, yeah. And then over here, we do have my Iron Man MCU sh um, suit shelf right here. And I really do want to, like, get more of these Iron Man MCU um, suits. You know, I want to get more figures of them because Iron Man is my favorite superhero out of the mcu not like in general but like out of all the mcu movies iron man is my favorite but yeah um i do have the hulkbuster right there mark 46 mark 1 tony mark 50 and i think this was like mark 26 i think i could be wrong but yeah um and, he's, and this is like the disco armor so yeah pretty cool and yeah this is like my entire a first section of my Marvel Legends display. No, 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 we're not done just yet, because I have more shelves. Okay, so over on this shelf is my little Deadpool display. And yeah, as you can see, it, it's like, has its own little lonely shelf and all the other Marvel Legends are over there. But yeah, still pretty cool. We do have um, X-Force Deadpool, Headpool, Gwenpool, Lady Deadpool, regular Deadpool, Deadpool with his underwear. Then we do a black and um, we know, no, sorry, back in black Deadpool, but, but yeah, pretty cool, um, I do want to expand more on the shelf, but, yeah. Oh, and I also wanted to show you guys this, Infinity Gauntlet, which is not really a figure, but it's technically speaking, it's a Marvel Legends, um, because Hasbro did make it, and you know, on the box it says Marvel Legends, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, and then up here, as you can see, there are more Marvel Legends, three inch figures. That's not a Marvel Legend, that's just some random figure from the 90s. Um, but yeah, we do have the Sinister Six, which all I need left is that six inch Craven Man, but yeah, we do have Spider Man, Doc Ock, and I really wish like Hasbro would release a six inch version of like this Doc Ock and stuff like that because this Doc Ock looked cool. Like, like this is like the first appearance one. There's Electro, Craven, Vulture, Mysterio, and Salmon, you know, Magneto right there. So, yeah, that's basically it for my room with Marvel Legends collection. And here's all my Marvel Legends boxes. And, yeah, I do keep every single box. Because if I ever, like, need to sell any of these, I need the appropriate packaging. So, yep. Okay, so, yeah, it's basically it for my, for my like, Marvel Legends collection in my room. Um, Now let's... Go to the basement. Okay, so over here is my basement shelf where I do keep some more Marvel Legends that wouldn't fit on the shelves upstairs. So, yeah, over here we do have my 12-inch Marvel Legends. We have Spider-Man, Symbiote Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man. And then over here we do have the MCU 
12 inch figure who is actually really cool and probably one of my favorite 12 inch ones. Then we do a Hulk, uh, Thor, Deadpool, Headpool, um, another Deadpool with like a different suit. I don't know the name of that suit. Wolverine, Tiger Strike, and X Force Deadpool. And then if we move down here, this is kind of like my shelf of like figures I don't have any spot for up in my room. Like I, like, like, I don't know what category to really put any of these guys in, because, yeah, some of these guys were, like, never Avengers. Um, I could be wrong on that, actually, but, yeah, and, you know, there weren't enough space in my room to put them, so. Yeah, we just have a whole array of characters, you know, you have Sentry, Daredevil from 2003, uh, the Mark 42 suit of Iron Man in the comics. Uh, Mark, I, I believe, like, in the comics, this is, like, Mark 51. Yeah, that's what I think, and then... We do have, like, young Thor right there, Thor Odin's son. Um, another version of Taskmaster, Brother Voodoo, Deathlock. I do have another Green Goblin figure, so, you know, he's over there, too. Star-Lord. And, like, not even all of these are Marvel Legends, obviously, because, you know, there's the Dark Knight Returns Batman right there. Um, yeah, so. Then we do have Wolverine, Punisher, The Hulk from 2003, which was actually a pretty decent movie to me. I'm just going to say, dude, everyone thinks it's bad, but I liked it a lot. So, yeah, there we do have Jane Foster, Thor right there. Aquaman from the Justice League. Nick Fury, Killmonger, another great figure right there. And then I do have another Black Ant, so, yeah. And then over here, I do have Wolverine on his motorcycle. And then we do have this crappy Captain America. I do not like this Captain America at all, so that's why he's on here, because I really do not like his costume, but, yeah. And then we do have Sharon Carter, who cannot stand by herself, so she's leaning against the wall. So, yeah, there's my little group shelf right there. So, yeah. And then down here is my, you know, little Thor vs. Hulk shelf right here. This will be a Thor Ragnarok shelf soon. Because, you know, um, I really do like Thor Ragnarok as well. Like, I, like, I really love that movie a lot, so... Yeah, they are making a two-pack of the Grandmaster and Korg, so I really want to I really want to get that and, like, put them on this shelf. And I don't want to get the Valkyrie figure, so, you know, that'd be pretty cool. But, yeah, pretty, you know, pretty nice to me. And, yeah, so basically, that's it for my Marvel Legends collection, guys. And that's, like, every single figure I have, you know, this and all the ones upstairs. And, yeah, it's going to wrap it up with this video. Thank you all for watching, and if that's it, Hobo 55, out. Let me take you on a little trip, my supersonic ship, at your disposal if you feel so inclined. Well, all right. We're gonna travel faster than light, so drop your overcoat tight, and we'll go anywhere you want to decide.